I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. The morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan like on my it's way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me. What is going on? All you beautiful people out there in the world. I'm coming to you on day number three of my month long stint here in Thailand at Tiger Muay Thai and Mixed Martial Arts. The time is 10.30, I've just finished my third Muay Thai class from 8 till 10 this morning. Smashed two coffees back before I went, was absolutely buzzing. And once again guys, once again I am the most sweaty person in the room well, not in the room, it's actually outside, but I am the most sweaty person by, by tenfold. It's absolutely ridiculous, and I feel like I've just been unlucky. Because there's certain fans around the, the, the area, the mat, and I, I, I just seem to not be in the path of one of these fans. Throughout the entire warm-up, throughout the entire, you know, uh, technique part of it, and then, um, and then we go into bag work, and uh, pad work, and sparring, and blocking and, and, and stuff like that, stuff with, with, with another person and partners and there's no chance to, to cool down, I mean, I'm just an absolute sweaty mess throughout the whole entire thing, but guys, I've got to tell you right now, today was, a, was a, today was a good day, today my mindset has kind of shifted, you know, up until today, I was still thinking, oh, you know, should I be doing this, am I really going to enjoy this, you know, maybe this is too hard, maybe I've bitten off a, a bit more than I could chew, especially when I pussied out from doing sparring on the first day. But after today's session, I, I was loving it. We did do some boxing technique, um, a lot of blocking, ducking, um, you know, uh, leaning backwards, parrying, and um, after that we did some, some boxing sparring. Only at 20%, but this was legitimately the first ever time I have ever sparred in any you know form of martial arts ever so it was a very 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 exciting time for me guys so you know if you're watching this just try and try and channel a little bit more, a little bit of my energy right now because it's flowing I'm telling you after getting through my first you know ever sparring session I got clocked a few times in the face only very softly but I was thinking if that guy was throwing as hard as he could I would be on the floor right now absolutely so I've got to keep my hands up, stick and move, look, I, you know, I'm not going to continue on. I just wanted to make this video, it's day number three. I assume whilst I'm staying in this apartment here, this is going to be the setting for me to make videos. We've done one on the first day, two, two videos on the first day, one before my first session and one afterwards. I missed yesterday, I didn't make any videos because I was actually feeling a little bit down. I'm not going to lie, but today... I'm feeling much better, we cracked into it, and today I'm going to do my first ever two session day. So I'm going to go back at 3 o'clock, do 3 till 5, they've got sparring again. Um, they said take down your shin pads because we're going to do Muay Thai sparring. It's only going to be a maximum of 3 rounds, so it's, not, you know, it's nothing crazy. But if I go down there, I have to be prepared to, to do some Muay Thai sparring. And there's going to be more people, there's always more people in the afternoon than there is in the morning. It's a lot cooler in the morning, so you know, I really enjoy getting out that door at 7.30 in the morning. It's nice and crisp, the sun's just come up, I have my coffee, I head down there, you know, 10 to 8, we're, we're there, we're putting our wraps on, 8 o'clock, we start running around, warming up. It's, it's a buzz, and I'm fucking buzzing. So I want to talk about muscle mass, and I want to talk about weights, okay? I, uh, one reason why I was a little bit down yesterday is because I was, I did the morning class, the morning Muay Thai class, I thought all day I'm going to go back at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock came, I was still, you know, too tired or too unmotivated, I didn't go down there for the Muay Thai class. I went down there at 4.30 instead, saw the end of it, and then went up and did my own weight session. Whilst I was up in the weights room, I could see down below a CrossFit class starting at 5 o'clock. So I saw a group of about 30 people, all, you know, loving it, 
um, doing all sorts of circuit stuff, cardio stuff. They were smiling, having a great time. The music's blaring. It's a fucking great atmosphere. And here I was by myself up in the weights room, feeling like an absolute loner, piece of shit, honestly. Just wishing I was down there, but it was too late because the class had already started. So I told myself, guys, I told myself once and for all that yesterday that, um, you know, I, I hit weights on the first day, I hit weights on the second day, but that is the final weight session I am doing this entire month. I ain't going to be doing that again. No fucking way. Not only am I, you know, dehydrated most of the day, so my pumps aren't there, I'm not going to be able to push as hard as I can, but the vibe is not about going to the weight room. The vibe at Tiger Muay Thai is about being with other people. You know, it's about being in a group, it's about feeding off other people, it's about getting that energy. And up in the weights room, when I was looking down, I felt, I felt really shit, man. And it really put me in a bad mood. So I told myself as I was walking out of there, I still got a good workout, but as I was walking out of there and walking past the class, I thought, there is no way I am gonna set foot in that weights room again. I am gonna look at the fitness class schedule instead and choose from the array of different fitness classes, including CrossFit. So I'm really looking forward to that. You know, if I want to do some weights, if I want to, you know, do some strength training or, or get some cardio done, I'm going to do one of those classes. It looks so much fun and I can't wait. So here we are, day three, it's 10.30 in the morning. I've got a coffee, free coffee on tap here where I'm staying. It's absolutely amazing. Literally, I went down there at quarter to seven, a quarter to eight this morning. <laughs> one espresso, a little bit of cold water, bang. Two espresso, a little bit of cold water, bang. Three espresso, a little bit of cold water, bang, and I'm out. It's a fucking amazing start to the day. I don't like, I'm so, the first half, half an hour, an hour, two hours in the morning is when I'm the most motivated. So these morning sessions, I am just lapping up. I'm loving it. The afternoon sessions are a bit more of a challenge for me to go through the whole entire day and get myself back up again to, to go back. But today I'm going to do it. Third day in, two hours goes just like that, honestly. You know, I will say the most fun thing we've done so far is the pad work. I, I love it because it's just you and the trainer. The less people in the class, the better because you get that one-on-one -on -one time with the trainer. And, you know, basically, if you want to continue this development, of your skills in the right way and probably the most efficient way, you should get some private sessions. So that's probably what I'll end up doing. I'll get some private sessions, um, but not yet. So I'm just going to continue with the group classes. I, t I had all the fucking, um, all the instructors standing around me, looking at me like a, like a tourist attraction because I had developed a big bruise on my shin. Can you see that? Look at that. That's from kicking one of the bags. And the guys, they all came around me. They all got their phones out. It's taking a picture of my, my leg. And I was like, haven't you guys seen this before? And clearly they have. But what they were, what they were doing is they wanted a photo to, to show the owner of, of Tiger because the bag was apparently too hard. And, uh, you know, in the beginner class, the bags don't need to be that hard. But I think my problem, I was actually kicking it too low. So the higher you are on the bag, the softer it gets. But these are heavy bags, um, and I fucking love it, man. I really do. I'm, oh, it's so good. There's open gym. You know, you can go down there whenever you want, just hit the bag. But I'm going to stick to the classes. And today was day number three. This is my third update video. Maybe I'll take the camera out. The camera's quite big. I was always planning on, on buying a smaller camera so I could actually vlog properly. But, uh, you know, this is what we got right now, so this is what we'll um, continue to use. Although, let me see what happens here. And what I'm talking about is actually taking this pole out of my tripod. Look. Holy shit, now I can vlog. Boom! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Look, I've got a little pole to use, which is going to make it so much easier. But then that means if I want to set this down on a tripod, I'm going to have to, well, it's actually, it's not going to be that hard, is it? Just go like that, tighten it back up and we're good. Okay. 
So I'll leave you with a thought. The thought is the real reason why I'm here and I've mentioned it before, it's confidence. And my confidence is growing and um, you know, all it takes is just rubbing shoulders with a few people. The thing is man, when you're sparring with someone or when you're partnered up with someone doing a particular part of a workout, you have no choice but to be friends with them. You know what I mean? It's like after you finish and you've you've pushed yourself really, really hard and you know, you, you touch gloves, you're like, thanks man, and it, it's, I mean, it's, it's a great feeling and it's, it's, that's, that's what sport's about, you know, but I haven't even played sport for a long time and it's because, ah, oh, I just lost the confidence and I put so much effort into my fucking YouTube channel and I've just, I've just, I've lived a life, I've lived an online life, guys, and, and, and if you live a life through the internet for, for too long without really you know, meeting any new people in person, it really starts to affect you in a negative way and, and that's that's what we're we're fixing on this trip. So guys, thanks for being here, thanks for listening. It's been uh, it's been a pleasure once again. And I'm gonna chill out, get some food, drink my coffee, go into the pool, have a swim, and I will say that we have just hit one hundred and thirty thousand subscribers here on YouTube. So whenever you see this video Wherever you are, I want to say thank you. Thank you one and all. I do still love this YouTube channel. When I get down on confidence, I tell myself, nah, I don't like it. When I'm high on confidence, when I'm high on life, I do love it because it's still a platform that I've been able to develop to spread a message. Whatever message I want to spread. I'm nearly 30. I'm 30 at the end of this year. Even when I'm 40, 50, 60, I'm still going to have some sort of message to spread my own form of gospel and that's what this channel will provide me with so thanks for being here guys have a fantastic day from thailand phuket thailand i want to wish you guys all the best i don't know whether i'll make another video this afternoon or not but if not i'm sure we'll be back shortly and right now i'm going to show you guys what it looks like outside my balcony. And as long as I don't drop the camera, that that's where we're going to be swimming. So with that being said, have a fantastic day and peace out.